time, a year, four to five years after that, I got into sales. We're currently a sales manager for an insurance company. And we attended a seminar in Tampa where we learned about the real estate network. And long story short, in the course of about three weeks, we acquired three properties. Uh, and my partner, Jeff, we're, we were in the Air Force together. We were former air traffic controllers and just lifelong friends. And it's just a great opportunity for us to kind of do something together, a business. And uh, we're doing extremely well. And we're very excited about the opportunity and just the network of associates that we're plugged into. Right. And again, I'm Jeff Stuby from, from Tampa with Carlos. We work together in the Air Force. And I think for years we, we've always kept close and friends. We've always known we're going to do something together as far as the business goes. And I heard the ad on the radio, just like most of you probably did. But heck, let's go try it out, listen to it. All of us are extremely skeptical. Uh, we've looked at a lot of things, but we've always been open-minded. Um, but anyway, like Carlos said, long story short, five weeks later, or three weeks later, we've got three properties under our belt already, about $400,000 worth of properties that we're um, probably going to rehab all three of them right away, but we might you know, wholesale one. We're really not sure yet, but the, one of the biggest things I want to get across to anybody else listening is, Carlos and I went into this skeptical but open-minded. Like, again, I'm sure all of you are. Trust on faith what these guys are telling you and what they're teaching you because they want you to get the best out of it. Until as time progresses and you learn yourself, everything they've been teaching you has been 100% accurate and correct. And I couldn't agree with you more. Just, just like we bank on faith and we drive on faith and we do 65 miles an hour with really only five feet between the other car and our car, you really gotta take a little bit of faith and just trust that these guys have what I consider the key that keeps the honest honest and it's the vested interest. If we do not succeed, they do not succeed. So they have every incentive to help us get to the goal because they in turn will profit at the same time. So do your homework, but at the end of the day, if you're on the fence, just look at the people around you and say, this many people can't possibly be 